Um, well, today is um, Monday, June 3rd, and uh, my coffee. Um, and if you've been following along, then you know my mom was brought home uh, to my sister's house yesterday for hospice. And she passed away last night about 6.45. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with today. It was a really wonderful day. We sang hymns. I played the piano and then my sister sang hymns yesterday morning. Uh, my mom's bed was in the little room that had the piano in it, the formal living room. Um, and that was nice. I had a surprise visit from a childhood friend who lives about three hours away, but knew I was in town, knew what was going on. And after he taught Sunday school, he told his wife, I'm going to go see Brent and Steph and Rick. Um, I was happy for my sister. My, my dad passed away about 23 years ago. He was at home by himself, and that's kind of haunted her in some ways. And we are, um, you know, so many things happened. Uh, we're very glad that our mom was home surrounded by people that loved it. She got to see her granddaughters, great granddaughters, you know, <clears throat> one more time on, on Saturday night. Um, my sister was by the bed praying with her, holding her hand when she passed. And I'm going to say this, I don't know what kind of people will watch this. If the people are skeptical, feel burned by religion and, and God. I'm convinced that God is at work in ways that we don't always see. I was stressed out Friday because my mom was doing bad. And I'm thinking, you know, we're two hours away from the airport. I'm like, do, we, do I somehow get back to the airport and try to find an earlier flight? Do I try to get back the next morning? And because our flight was already going to go through Houston. And my wife said, hey, who knew, who knew when we were planning this trip months ago that we would end up with a flight that flies through Houston on this weekend and connects in Houston on this weekend? And I was like, you're right, God knew. I was able to hop off the plane, go out to the curb. My brother-in-law was waiting, went to the house Saturday. I was able to spend about... 24 more hours with my mom. So, um, I'm convinced that she had done what she needed to do. Well, I'll say it that way. We all face our greatest need is to make things right with God. And she had done that. Um, not of her own doing, but by grace and what God had been done for her through Jesus. So, again, I have no idea who's going to be watching this. And some people are going to be rolling their eyes or whatever. That's fine. It's just the truth, man. And uh, I walked down the stairs this morning, and there's the living room where the hospital bed still is, and it's empty. And I went and said to my sister, there's an empty bed, but it's okay because there's also an empty tomb. So, anyway, thanks for sharing my journey. Say it again. Hug the ones you love. Don't go to bed angry. Tell them you love them.